The mayor suspending electeds of color, the holiday party. Let's see what's going on in Boston. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu defended a holiday party for elected officials of color after an invitation was accidentally sent to the entire city council, according to NBC News. However, outraged conservatives labeled it as a no white party. Those usually don't have to be labeled, do they? Aren't they? A lot of times, I don't think you have to explicitly do the anyway. Let's see and dig deeper, shall we? Wu said in an interview, quote, the email invite for an elected of color holiday party was sent out by a city employee asking for RSVPs and dietary restrictions from council members who plan to attend the event. It's just one of many parties that will be held for Boston elected officials during the holiday season, Wu said. But this one was only intended to go to the six minority council members, NBC Boston, with the details. I think we all have been in in a position at one point where an email went out and there was a mistake in the recipient. So there was truly just an honest mistake that happened in issuing the invitation. Wu, who is the first woman and person of color elected mayor of Boston, told the media Wednesday ahead of the event. We've had individual conversations with everyone so people understand that it was truly just an honest mistake that went out and typing the email field, she said in an interview. We'll look forward to celebrating with everyone at the holiday parties we will have beside This one as well. It's my intention that we can again be a city that lives our values and creates space for all kinds of communities to come together. Who said in defense of the holiday party? News One with additional reporting. Zach Lindley from News One wrote. So basically, white people accidentally found out about a thing that was happening. So they're, they weren't included in. And some of them got predictably upset. Then it became a news story. Then more white people got upset at the quote racism of the first woman of color to be elected mayor in Boston's 200 year history of having mayors. Don't hold your breath waiting on white people to acknowledge the irony though. Here's the thing white conservatives will never understand. Black people and people of color need their own spaces. I want the mayor to unpack that need, we'll get to that in a moment. Lindley continued, again, Where are these angry white voices against discrimination when virtually all white country clubs fail to have a single black name on their membership list? They seem to understand perfectly that different demographics need their own spaces when men only golf clubs are still operating out in the open in the 21st century. Hell for that matter, where were all these angry post racial whites when Dilbert creator Scott Adams was telling white people to get the hell away from black people? Hint. Many of them agreed and used any instance of perceived anti-whiteness they could get their hands on to justify it. Oh, let me look Zach Lindley up on LinkedIn and I'll follow him. Mayor, unpack this, I call it faux outrage. Number one, who wants to really go to a holiday party that's with your stuffy people at work? Nobody really wants to go. But now you're dying to get an invite and you were discriminated against because you're not brown. Isn't this yeah. silly, Mayor? Is it? It's it's beyond silly when we have yeah. we have so many caucus. I mean, the Republican caucus is an all-white caucus. Let's stop playing games right now, right? Like, let's be serious. They're they're in Congress, there's the Black Caucus, there's a Hispanic Caucus, there's a there's a Tea Party Caucus. We we this is this is this is nothing here. And the fact that they made this news is 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 the power of white supremacy. I gotta say that. If this was anybody else talking about a white only, I mean, we celebrate the masters. The name of it, the masters on land that mm. stole from Geechee people that they thought wasn't going to be able to use. So they gave it to them after slavery ended. And they just allowed their first black person mm-hmm. in my life to join that. Condoleezza Rice was the first black person able, allowed to join. Come on. We're not, and they still won't change the name. And they still they call it the them. primary. You go into a house, they'll say, This is the primary suite. You're not supposed to say master suite anymore. Yeah, but it's they still don't, the masters. You know, these people want the master suite. These people want the plantation mentality. These people go on vacation to plantations because mm. it's their mentality. It's those folk who are hearkening back to making America great again when their definition of great means less rights for people of color. This is not a story that anybody should be wasting ink on. I do appreciate Lindley's um, take yeah. on it because it is full. It is full outrage. This idea that something that should be discriminated against. Also, we should note when we have uh, people of elected uh, people of color. 
parties and caucuses do not mean white people can't join. White people often show up to these events. White people are always at CBC. Those that those that are not racist or bothered by the yeah. fact that other people need protected space. Yeah. And I appreciate the Boston mayor, but she her statements seem to ignore what was really going on and just talk about the mistake that it went out to them by mistake, this invitation, okay? But I think I can read between the lines and she's basically saying, you gonna get your fruitcake, okay? It's just so nasty, who wants a fruitcake, okay? My grandmother used to make a good one, but I, it's those little gelatin things, Mayor, what are those? I mean, I have an aversion to fruitcake since I was a child. I can't, I can't partake in this, it really, I just can't do it. Yeah, we we never had fruitcake at holidays, but I used to yeah. always sneak out and get them from the convenience store. I used to like- Oh, the cheap, you love nasty. them. I still do like the cheap, nasty uh, fruitcakes and also candy corns are my favorite. So I'm that weird guy. Well, you are a league of your own, Mayor, is how I prefer to phrase it, okay? There's still no raisins uh, in my potato salad, though. Well, thank God, okay. I knew you were a real one and I can live with the rest, okay? Woo!